Hi everybody, welcome back to the Moose. In the last segment I mentioned that I was going to write tablature uh, for this version of Train 45. And what I didn't mention is that I'm in, going to be teaching you how to read um, tablature for those of you who don't know how to read it already. And I'm assuming that a lot of you don't, uh, this being the beginning banjo series. So I'm going to be doing a few segments on uh, reading tablature and even a little bit on reading uh, sheet music as well because the, the sheet music is going to be accompanied with the tablature. And, and I mentioned about systems of learning. Uh, learning by ear, learning by tablature, and also a little bit of being able to read just a little bit of sheet music for the timing that's involved with some of these uh, licks and phrases. So all those three uh, systems of learning are going to be available to you. Whatever whatever system you, you choose to uh, use for yourself, they're all going to be there. You can combine them all to learn the best way that you can learn, uh, whether that being by ear or by tab, and even uh, being able to read a little bit of sheet music. So uh, those opportunities are going to be there for you. In, uh, in these lessons. Now getting on to train 45. In the last segment also you learned the lead-in notes for train 45 which consisted of this. Now the very first lick that we're going to play on train 45 is a lick that you've already uh, learned in the previous um, segment as well. That being, uh, uh, we're going to use the forward roll with that, uh, you remember that forward roll pattern I said you were going to use quite a lot in bluegrass, where we're going to start off using that very same lick. So that lick consisted of the, the uh, using the hammer on from the second fret to the third fret on the, on the second string as well. And remember this lick sounded like this. And that's where we're going to stop right now at that point. So let me play the, the tune up to there. that lick, after the last note in that lick, we're going to incorporate a forward-backward roll. Uh, we're just going to play that forward-backward roll open. And what this forward-backward roll consists of is picking the fifth string with the thumb, the second string with the index finger, the third, uh, the third finger or middle finger of your right hand is going to pick the first string open. So there's the forward roll. Now this is gonna this forward roll is just a little bit different from the other one you learned with the connecting note, as as we're gonna just come right back around with the backward roll now and hit the second string open with the index, and then the third string open with the thumb. So it sounds like this. same um, two note pinch again with the fifth string and hitting the first string open and simultaneously and play it up to that point now we're going to hit the second string open with the index of our right hand and then another pinch, that same pinch. And we'll play it up to that point. Now we're going to pick the first four notes of that, of that again, that same lick, the same first lick using the, um, the two to three hammer on. Now you're going to leave 
the middle finger of your left hand fretting the third fret of the second string. And now after that, you want to bring your index finger of your right hand and fret the first string at the second fret, just behind the second fret. And we're going to play a forward roll now with that finger. So listen to this. So we have... Let me play that up to that point. Okay, so after you uh, hit that last note on that four roll, now we're going to come up and hit our thumb on the fifth string. And this is going to be another forward backward roll. Except this time we're going to use our thumb to connect this forward backward roll. So it's going to sound like this. So let me play it up to that point. So I'm going to leave it there right now, everybody. We're going to continue right on with the Train 45. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you here in just a minute.